Hello, my lovely. So, uh, welcome to Torn Talk. Put that there somewhere. Um, we are trying out uh, Siobhan's hair flower extension things. Uh, link below. Go watch her do it. Uh, I did do a trial run, so I already took some footage of that. So, doodly doo. Hi. So I'm holding my webcam instead of it being on a tripod because I'm getting ready to film today's vid. But I wanted to do a dry run to see how it would go. So uh, number one, go and watch Siobhan's video. Um, she's going to tell you how to do this. Um, and I did what she did. Um, I braided this in. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make another one for for uh, for us, right? I'm gonna make another one, um, and I'm gonna make it a little different because I followed her instructions and I did two inches apart, but it's a little close together for me. Um, this I think comes into mine and Siobhan's uh, difference in kind of hair thickness, I guess, or just the fact that I really do tend to take giant chunks when I braid kind of deal so um even though this is still going to get used I mean look at how party that is that's party y'all um I'm not I'm all front <laughs> but um yeah so technically you tried yes um when I did Siobhan's it it looks correct it's that looks good I just did a side braid because it's quickest and easiest and then I'm going to unbraid. So I'm going to make another one for us. We're going to do like a creepy version because why not? Um, but yeah, instead of doing two inches, I think I might do four. I think I'm going to double in between the flowers. I think I'm going to do four between each flower. So um, yeah, but yay. Uh, I know it works now. So let's go to, yeah, let's Let's make another. All right, sorry about lack of makeup and all that, but you know, any hoodles. Uh, like I like I said, um, you know, I already did the one. You saw it. This we used most of the flowers from one of these hydrangea, and the center. Got all my beads out. The center beads I used for that were teardrops, um, aurora borealis teardrops. Um, that's what I use for the centers. So, um, but everything else will be the same. Um, we're going to use the black ones. Black hydrangea this time. Um, and for the centers of the black hydrangea, I told you I wanted to go a little creepier. Sorry, all my, all my beads and stuff. I've got all my boxes of beads out. And the center of the black hydrangea, I'm going to put these little scullies in because I thought that would be cool. Um, I debated doing like rhinestones to make it classy but I decided we'd do creepy instead. And I love those little scullies so you know I can't help myself. Um, any hoodles so you need scissors, you need some scotch tape, you need a tape measure. Um, I'm using my cutting thing because it's nice and easy to tape to. Um, I'm using uh, Beetalon Supple Max Ultra Monofilament Illusion Cord, 0 0.010 inch or 0.25 millimeter. Um, it's basically clear, uh, but that's what I'm using. Um, I do have the wig clips. Um, so any one of these, these suckers, I can make a ton because there are. 12 in here so that if you think of it that's 12 how do these things work they're just snappers you just put them in your hair and then they snap now these yeah Ta -da! so I'm gonna tie first things first I'm gonna measure so uh, how I initially uh, measured uh, how long these should be. Um, I used this. I measured my hair uh, from about where I thought I would put the clip, which is somewhat on the side of your head. Um, so 
when you measure your hair you measure from like the top down and up and over uh, we always have to do everything on the floor because there's no room in my house for anything y'all <laughs> um, yeah so uh, for this you want to measure from where you think your clips gonna go which will be on the side of your head so my hair is currently 48 inches long but I don't need 48 inches I need about 44 um, so this mat is 35 inches long so I just you know go from there and measure my extra bit um, why make it longer I I generally really only need about 42 but uh, I add two more inches for all the the knotting and such that we'll have to do um, nanny hoodles okay so what I'm gonna do so you gotta measure your hair is what I'm saying measure your hair first and then determine how long you need your filament to be all right, so first things first, get my clip. You guys are to the side, so hopefully it's in frame. I'm trying to look behind you. All right, so this is all I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this through here and then thread it through here. Um, you don't have to make it wide. You can just put it through one. It's fine. Um, but I just figured, you know, and then I'm, I know I'm on my knee and you can't see anything. Just tie it a knot. That's all I'm doing. I'm just making a knot. And then I will triple it. And then I'm going to tape it down and then we're going to get started. Um, I did do mine a little bit different than Siobhan's. And I showed you the red one, which I made like she told me to. Um, <laughs> but, um, oh yeah, you want to snip off? the excess. Now you see why I measured a little extra. Yay. Um, that's good and tight. Alrighty. So, tape this up here. I'm going to reuse that piece of tape I had. Now, when she did hers, she knotted. Um, let's do that. She, me she would measure two inches and put a flower and then two more inches and put a flower and two more inches and put a flower. And I said, I need more than that. So I'm going to do mine four inches apart. So if this is the top, that's one, two, three. This would be the fourth. So I, but I want one kind of up towards the top. So let's go down two inches for the first one. And then, and you're crooked, don't be crooked. And then every one after that, I'm going to measure four inches before I put another flower. So this would be my next flower. So, all you need to do is pull, pull the flowers off. Where are you? There we are. Ding, 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 ding. They'll just pop right off there. So you've got this, just a, a flower. Um, now, she knotted hers, and then strung her beads, and then knotted again. Um, when I did mine, I did knot the top. I only knotted the bottom. So, I'm going to attempt that this time to see, because, quite frankly and truthfully, I'm not real great at knots. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's move you a little bit. Pardon my terrible floor. One day I'll get to replace it. All right, that should work. Okay, so if you feel like you need a needle, then use one. I'm not going to. Uh, so this is how I put together the red ones. We'll see if they'll work for these two. So I'm just going to take the end of this, run it up through this hole in my flower. like so. So there's my flower. And then I am going to run this through the top of my scully. And it comes out the bottom of my scully. 
Yay. Woo. So it'll be in the center. And then I'm going to take the end and run it back through. Now, I'm not sure how well the skull will work. That's what we're testing right now. The teardrops worked great. If you run it right back through the exact same hole we were just in. Um, like so. Just gonna move this around so this will be on the back and not on the front of my scully face. Dee dee dee, little skull. Cute. This one to come on the side instead of on the back. And then we tie knot. So this is how I'm doing mine. That's the one thing that I couldn't really tell what Siobhan was doing. <laughs> how she was doing or not. So I just do like a regular one. But I put my finger in like this. So I can run it all the way up. Otherwise I kept ended up with knots like all down the strand. And I just ran my finger all the way up to this flower. And then that's it. So there we go. So I'm going to see how, now see this one wants to move. My red one, no it's not, it's okay. So I'm going to do the rest of these. Um, and all I'm going to do, like that one is the first one. Um, so I'm going to go down four inches and it's four inches from where the flower is, right? So this is our first flower. So one, two, three, that's the fourth inch. Tape it off right there and add my next flower. All right, I think I've been yakking at you enough. Let me get this done and we'll see if the four inches was good for me. Okie dokes, see you in a little bit. All right, so got it done. Do, do, as I drop it, uh, still you got a makeup on, not putting it on, sorry about it. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's like magic. Um, how did it work with the skulls? The skulls did not work as well as the teardrops. Um, let me show you. Yeah. Um, they all went a little bit crooked. I'm sure if I'd have like put a stitch in and whatever. Anyways, but you can tell they're skullies. Good enough. Uh, yeah, here's the red ones. I already got them clipped up. So this is the every two inches and this is every four so you know a lot less flowers but we're gonna see how they braid in um, so I figure I'll just show you real quick where's my oh there it is um, do, 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 do. Uh, but I'm excited because I think these look really cute and I like having the flowers all in like filament it's kind of righteous uh, it makes me happy we'll do this one on the other side just for giggles all right so you of course make a part and put your deal in and you can put it in like going this way this these things hold real well so I'm just gonna put mine in like this the only thing, they really got it, ooh, they need to get broken in, but like, good, it's good clippy action. Um, all right, now, let's go opposite direction, so we'll cover up um, the top of the clip. Uh, see, that's why, like, when you measure your hair, usually you'll start with the tape measure here and go back over. Um, which may be your thing, but I know these are going to be more like to the side and underneath the crown. So I started here where I would clip and then measure down. Um, that's how I got my measurements. In case you were wondering, now we know. So I'm just going to do a simple braid uh, tomorrow. Um, we'll do something where we incorporate these like a, a fancier, not guaranteed to be super fancy. I'm going to move these over here. Split this into three sections. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a real quick side braid so we can see that they incorporate. Um, we'll do something fancy. We'll do something fancy tomorrow, you guys. But 
I just don't feel like fancy today. So the very first one I'm not putting, um, I'm gonna braid without adding any flowers, uh, just because I wanna make sure that that clip is covered well, as it were. And then um, I'm just gonna braid. Do, do, do. Which one will this go? Uh, we'll go with this one. Um, as I braid, let me get that going. So I'm going to pick this up and go over the filament so the flower will pop out. I'll flip around my flowers. Um, you know, next go. Uh, yeah, four inches is definitely going to be my sweet spot. Okay, now I know my, my hair requires four, which is fine. Um, that's good. <laughs> if I wanted to do smaller braids, I would do... Um, you know, two, maybe yours is three. If your hair is thicker than mine, maybe it's five. I don't know. Um, but mine, the sweet spot is definitely, definitely four inches is where I want mine to be. Um, just from the, you know, here, this is what I'm talking about. I have to pull your petals out. Uh, just from where I cross my braid sections over, I could probably get away with three, say, but, um, Four inches definitely seems to be, let me back up for you. I'm just braiding in the rest. I'm just, you guys know I braid slow anyway, but I'm just crossing my pieces over and making sure that those flowers pop out, um, which is not difficult at all. Uh, you can, of course, um, you know, the nice thing about this is you can adjust your, the length of, um, let's see. Where are we? So I'm pretty much at the bottom of where my braid is gonna go. So to tie mine off, and I still got two down at the bottom, we pull those, put them up here. I'm gonna tie mine off where I got a clear hair tie somewhere. <laughs> clear hair tie. So yeah, um, like you don't have to make them as long as your hair. You can make, you know, maybe you just want two or three flowers long or some such. I don't know your life. Uh, but there, tie it off and see that I've got, still got another flower down here underneath or I can wrap it around, which is what I did with the red ones. And then I just twisted it around itself there to kind of cover up the hair tie. You guys can't see nothing. There you go. That's, yeah. I just twisted. So there we go. Make sure our flowers pop out. Where's my scully on that one? There he is. Yeah. So, you know, adjust your flowers a bit, your petals, depending on which sorts of flowers you use. Like these are hydrangeas, um, but like you can use roses or daisies or whatever you particularly feel like but that's I think it looks cool it looks cool I know I keep looking I'm seeing where I am in the frame I'm looking slightly to the side it makes it real awkward between us doesn't any hoodles there yay I mean this isn't like any great shakes from the back it's just a soft, a soft side braid I just wanted to you know demonstrate um and even if we did like pony you can still like add this in and then braid um yeah so we're gonna do something tomorrow we'll probably do something you know romantical because flowers are romantic but uh even when they're creepy and have little skulls in the centers it's still romantic just creepily romantic which is its own deal so uh super successful thank you siobhan la dolly vita 333 thank you for Tell me about those clips. Now, if you watch her video, she also does ribbons and all sorts of things, which are awesome. And it's just so many ideas, but I really, really wanted to make some things with flowers. Uh, because like when I do my braids and things, I'll have like two or three flower clips and this I can put a whole bunch. Like this one has 20, it's like 20, 19 or 20 flowers. Um, this is less. 
9 or 10, because um, I think one's heightened. Yeah, this one only has 9 or 10. Um, so it's not, you know, well, yeah, that would make sense. Doubled. <sighs> Any hoodles. Um, yeah. So, uh, I love these. Thank you, Siobhan, for showing us how to do these. It worked great. Um, and you saw I didn't do the, the knots above. And they're still okay, at least with these. Although I definitely recommend um, you get the, here I want to show you why. Um, you get the teardrop beads because these worked great. If, if you're going to do hydrangea, I really like the teardrop beads. Okay, so this is why. You see the teardrop here? It pops through the back and it sits real pretty in the flower. Do you see? Yeah, and it stays pretty well because you see where my knot is on that one. Not, not good. Uh, but yeah, the, the teardrop beads work really well because they'll pop through the center of the hydrangeas. So, ah, uh, um, yes. So that's, I mean, that's what I've learned from making these today. Uh, the teardrop beads work great. Uh, the skulls work okay, though. Hey, um, that's fine. But yeah. And there's a surprise. Uh, looking at these, I wish I had doubled up per, but I have a lot of black left. So it's no big whoop. Um, some of these are velvet, some of these are shiny. So I think I'm going to double up, do a velvet and shiny, velvet and shiny, and make fluffier flowers my next go round. And I'll probably look for something sparkly to put in the middle. I'll make a classy one, as it were. So uh, any hoodles? Uh, when you guys make these, which you should make these, it's, this is not super expensive. Um, and I dare say if you bought these on Etsy, etc., they're going to be expensive because they do take a little bit of time to make. Not a ton of time, but a little bit of time. Listen to a podcast. Listen to a podcast. They take half an hour or so to make one. Um, but it's going to be a lot cheaper if you make this one yourself than if you get it from somebody else. Plus, this way you can customize it to your outfits. Whatever you like, you can just use beads you've got around. You might even have some old silk flowers that you can pull apart. You might have, you could probably use fishing wire instead of this filament. The only thing you'd really have to put out for are the clips. And they're like five bucks. I'm just saying. All right. Um, you might want to make some too because I have a feeling we're going to be doing hairstyles with these. Or variations of these. Like, I think I'm going to see if I can't do one that's clips on both sides. Go like roundy, roundy, a bun and full of flowers. I'm going to see how that looks. I'm going to experiment, y'all. Uh, this month might be all experiments. I don't know. Anywho, just, we'll see. I have an idea. I think I'm going to try that. Because <gasps> remember, I got the white hydrate. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. This is probably eight hours long. Any hoodles, I will see you all tomorrow with some sort of hairstyle. Until then, have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.